Howdy, what's up? My name is Mohit. And people, today I'll be showing you how to do the responsive video embeds. Um, in fact, uh, let's divide this tutorial into two parts. Part 1, which contains just the demonstration, and part 2, where I'll actually go through the code. So let's bring the browser up, Firefox, and uh, this is a responsive embed 16 by 9. We can also assure the uh, the aspect ratio. Uh, I've actually used a panel in which I've inserted it. Panel is a component. It's a Bootstrap 3 component. I've used Bootstrap 3.2.0 uh, component uh, called panel to embed the video. Now see as I shrink the width what happens you'll see although the aspect ratio is maintained the video starts to uh, it starts to be responsive and the video has been removed on an extra small size please move on to a bigger uh, you know screen to view it so uh, all this has been accomplished only through the code the aspect ratio being maintained all the time we have used a panel with the panel heading and inside the panel body we had the uh, the responsive video embed uh, which was responsive so uh, what we'll do is we will learn in the next part how easy it was for me to do this it was so very easy people so I'll I hope uh, you found uh, the demo quite interesting and you will surely join me in the next part, won't you? You have a good day. Welcome back to part 2 people. Uh, in the, the, the next part, the second part, the concluding part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to preserve some code, I'm going to scrap some other code. Okay. So what we'll do is uh, we'll get inside the body of the document and we'll scrap everything and we leave, uh, leave everything else as is okay uh, although I've scrapped everything which was inside the opening and the closing body tags I've still preserved the script tags and uh, in the head of the document people have also preserved the link tags why have I actually done that uh, these are basically CDNs or content delivery network links. You know they are tying up to the the Bootstrap uh, important files, the the basic foundation that is the Bootstrap minified CSS file, the the minified theme file, which is the CSS theme file, linking up with the link tag. Um, this is the HTML5 doc type declaration, the opening HTML5 tag. The head opens out here we have uh, one meta tag out here another one out here now the meta name viewport content width is equal to width uh, device width initial scale is equal to one is an important meta declaration because this uh, then allows us to scale properly without it that wouldn't happen so these are cdns and we have more cdns out here just above the closing body tag uh, tying up to the uh, latest jQuery version 1.11.0 minified and uh, 3.2.0 JS file. Okay, so we do need these uh, JavaScript and CSS files before we can actually start working with the responsive embeds, responsive video embeds. Okay, so let's start. Okay, as always, we need a wrapper, so we need a div for the class of container I'm using a code assist plugin to expand my code real quick it's called Zen coding okay now container is a bootstrap 3 specific class you know inbuilt pre-built class that allows you to create a block which is centered up it's a fix, fixed width uh, block that is responsive to when you shrink the size okay let's save the changes up you know you don't have to specify margin left and right auto it's already pre-built into the uh, the container class cool next people I'm gonna create a panel so how do we, how do you do that so div for the class of panel control and comma to expand the code 
Okay, uh, along with the class of panel, I need to have some background color going. So let's go with the, let's say, panel uh, warning. Okay, that's yet another class. So the opening div tag, the closing div tag, and uh, panel and panel warning. These two classes have been attached to a division, which is inside the container. So this, I'm going to leave a comment out here, it says. Uh, panel closes out here okay cool and uh, <clears throat> what exactly is a panel a panel is, is a kind of a container it's kind of a box it's kind of a uh, section okay and usually will contain a panel heading and panel body so let's create the panel heading this time so div with the class of uh, panel dash heading control plus comma to expand the code right and let's say another comment which says panel heading closes out here okay you know, I'm saving myself uh, myself from divitis. You should be absolutely sure, since there are you know divs within divs within divs, you can suffer from divitis. Okay, you know, uh, in simple terms, you can really uh, lose your way. You know, which div is op where does it open? Where does it actually close? So it's good to leave out comments this way. Cool. Now uh, I'm gonna push in. Um, some more code this time gonna be a little snappy do a copy and a paste so inside the uh, panel heading I'm gonna push in this bit of code uh, a paragraph opening closing don't need this actually uh, paragraph opening closing uh, paragraph of the class of panel title again it's a pre-built inbuilt class container is is uh, uh, you know it's inbuilt class so is panel so is panel warning so is panel heading so is panel title these are all uh, classes that come along with bootstrap 3 you know you don't have to actually write them out okay so uh, inside the panel heading up uh, opening paragraph closing paragraph with uh, the class panel title that's gonna you know format the title responsive video embed Let's add the word embed 16 by 9 cool let's save let's bring the browser up and see uh, the kind of changes that have taken place okay so all we have is a, a panel with a title and a background color that's it cool uh, so the panel heading closes out here after which I'll include the panel body so very easy to do that people uh, you need a div you need a div with the class of panel dash body control plus comma to expand the code okay so we we'll leave a comment out here it says uh, you guessed it panel body ends here all right cool again this uh, makes it very easy for me to understand where does a specific panel start where does a specific panel end rather uh, you know where does a specific division ends so inside the opening and the closing uh, body panels in fact let's take a browser preview once again let's refresh so you can see this is the uh, body of the panel cool let's get back let's do a little bit of a copy and a paste this time to just keep things very simple we can just rush through the code this way right so I'm gonna paste in a bit some bit of code this time 
Okay, what I've done is um, let's close it up too, and then I'll explain what this is. So I have uh, inserted another div with the class of embed responsive and embed responsive 16 by 9 hidden dot uh, dash access. I'll tell you what what these three classes, the inbuilt prebuilt classes, actually mean. Uh, the class embed responsive means that I'm obviously uh, you know embedding something which is actually responsive. Also, which has an aspect ratio which is going to be maintained through the resize size of 16 by 9, and this video the responsive video embed is going to hide itself at a very small size extra small size this is exactly what it actually means okay next up people i'm going to pull in a video from youtube and uh, we're going to use it uh, okay so in fact let's see the you know the browser preview too before that makes things very easy to understand if you save time and again if you preview time and again okay notice that a frame has been inserted you know of uh, keeping the aspect ratio of 16 by 9 uh, in mind we have another aspect ratio 4 by 3 by the way okay so let's get in a YouTube video in this is one of my videos people and this is the embed code okay embed code at a size of 64360 I'm gonna copy the code and I'm gonna push it in here alrighty and you see we have an opening iframe tag a closing iframe tag width and height which is these two attributes are simply not needed so I'm gonna delete them a source of uh, whatever whatever but we just need to prefix it with HTTP colon right forward slash forward slash YouTube dot com forward slash embed and the embed ID we also do not need the free frame border because this is gonna be overridden by um, bootstrap and allow full screen is fine this is where the iframe tag actually closes cool let me save the uh, document up but uh, before we test it I'll need to insert or add a class to the iframe uh, to the iframe okay so a class of it's called embed responsive item so embed dash responsive item yep uh, this is required before we can test the responsive video so let's save the things up let's bring the browser up and let's refresh to see the responsive embed at an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 okay so let's resize and see whether uh, you know it actually responds to the width change and uh, you see it disappears at a certain uh, size the extra small size right uh, it actually does uh, completely disappear so things working just the way we wanted it to work okay I'm gonna bring in uh, a paragraph give me a second I'm gonna just copy paste a paragraph that's a very meaningful paragraph and I'm gonna paste it just before the uh, body panel ends panel body ends okay which is in line number uh, 22 here okay now this paragraph says also has a class of visible at excess so this paragraph is gonna be visible at excess excess extra small size but is uh, gonna hide itself at the small size and any size over and above small which is the medium and the large okay so let's see that in action too so let's bring up the browser let's do a refresh all right so although the video is gonna hide itself at the extra small size as we'll soon see it's a responsive video it's a responsive embed okay you see although the video has been hidden the paragraph has been thrown in 
let's say as the video has been removed on an extra small size please move on to a bigger screen to view it and as soon as we move on to a bigger screen the paragraph disappears with the video kicks in okay so how very cool how very interesting so people let me just sum it up very quickly I created a panel inside a container the panel had a class of panel panel warning again pre-built in build classes okay the panel in turn had uh, another division with a class of uh, panel heading which contained the heading of the panel responsive video embed 16 by 9 the aspect ratio this in turn had another division with a class of panel body which in turn had another division with a class of embed responsive and embed responsive 16 by 9 uh, and hidden dash access so hidden dash access uh, ensures that the video or the responsive video or the video with the aspect ratio of 16 by 9 is going to auto hide itself at a very small size then we had the iframe tag going with the class of embed responsive item again inbuilt pre-built class with the source pointing to whatever right uh, a YouTube link and uh, I removed the uh, width and the height attributes which were not required and then we had a paragraph as an alert saying that the video has been removed on an extra small size please, please move on to a bigger screen to view it but again attached a class called uh, visible access hidden SM basically make uh, uh, the paragraph visible at an extra small size but hide yourself at a smaller size or a medium size or a larger size anything over and above uh, excess this paragraph is gonna be rendered invisible gonna be visible only in the extra small size so people this is so cool and this is so easy isn't it so if you have any questions which you might have about the responsive video embed uh, with a specific aspect ratio do let me know just post in your comments I'll surely reply so I hope you found this information useful you have a good day bye bye peace